Okay, so we have a person up here that weighs 40 kilograms and they're gonna be on a bungee cord. It is originally 10 meters long, okay? So bungee cord's originally 10 meters long. It's going to stretch to make it 280 meters long. We also have that the cliff or bridge that this person is on is 300 meters in height. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write some of our givens and then also our unknown. So our unknown is going to be the total mechanical energy, okay? The total mechanical energy he has when he's down here, when he's at the very bottom, so he's already jumped off and he has stretched that spring. So we're gonna be looking for the uh, total mechanical energy. Some things we need to know, so we have mass. Notice everything is dealing in the y direction, so we definitely want acceleration in the y direction would be gravity. Uh, let's see. So we have acceleration in the y direction. We also need to know the spring constant. It would tell us this, but the spring constant, which is k, is going to be 30 newtons per meter. So we know his mass, and we know these. Some of the other things we can solve for, okay? So some of the things we can solve for, notice how the bungee cord started at 10 meters and it stretches to 280 meters. We need to find the displacement that it stretched. So what I'm gonna take is I'm gonna take the stretched length minus the unstretched. This is going to give us X. Okay, so this gives us x. When we took 280 meters minus 10 meters, we're left with 270 meters. Okay, this is the x. This is the distance it stretched. Notice it's going downward, so it's also going to be negative. So this gives us x, so I'm going to add that to our givens. Uh, technically, you could do that as an unknown equation if you wanted to. I kind of just did it off to the side. Uh, either way is absolutely fine. So we have negative 270 meters. Also, one thing we need to know, since we're trying to find his mechanical energy, we're eventually going to need height. So one thing I would do, see how he jumped off, and if the mountain or bridge, whatever it is, is 300 meters tall, and it stretches 280 meters, we're going to take the height of bridge, and we're going to take that minus the stretch length. And this is going to give us the height. Notice if we took 300 meters minus 280 meters, that's the length that stretches, that's how far off the ground he's going to be after he jumps. So we're going to take 300 meters minus 280 meters, we're going to get 20 meters off the ground. Notice, if he were to fall, he would go downward, so this should be negative. This is going to be his height. So we also have his height is equal to negative 20 meters. So those are his givens, our unknown total mechanical energy. So the equation I'm going to use, mechanical energy is equal to all potential energies plus kinetic energy. So remember, all our potential energies, we have potential energy elastic, we have potential energy of gravity, we also have kinetic energy. Okay. So the question I'm going to ask is, do we have potential energy of elastic? And what that means is anything stretched or compressed. Uh, notice the bungee cord is stretched, so we definitely have potential energy elastic. Potential energy of gravity, do we have any height? Are we going to be off the ground? And you notice, remember we have 20 meters for our height, negative, so we definitely have that. The last one is kinetic energy, which means, do we have any speed? Do we have a velocity? If you notice, when he jumps, he's going to actually come to rest. He's not going to be moving once he gets to the very bottom of the bungee. He's not going to have any kinetic energy. So we can completely get rid of kinetic energy. We do not need it. 
So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand it. Mechanical energy equals. So potential energy of elastic, if you remember, the equation is 1 half kx squared. So I'm just going to insert in for potential energy elastic, since it's equal to 1 half kx squared, I'm going to substitute that in for potential energy elastic. For potential energy of gravity, I'm going to substitute in mass times gravity times height, because that's the equation for it. This is going to help us because we have the spring constant, we have k, we have x up there, we have his mass, we have gravity, we also have height, so we can now solve for the mechanical energy. So mechanical energy is going to equal 1 half 30 newtons per meter uh, times negative 270 meters squared plus he has a mass of 40 kilograms gravity is negative 9.81 meters per second squared and then last he is 20 meters above the ground so he's going to fall downward so it's negative 20 meters when you plug all of that into your calculator you should get mechanical energy is equal to 1101 Three, four, eight.